let's leave the resort. In this episode series, we journey to Vietnam, exploring the north from the rice fields of Sapa to the coconut boats of Hoi An. We experience the incredible offerings of Vietnam and everything in between. As we prepare to leave Hoi An, Vietnam, I can't help but reflect on the unique tapestry of experience that we've woven into our journey here. From the ancient architecture are dormant lanterns that illuminate the night, to the bustling markets where every aroma tells a tale of local flavors. Hoi An has left an indelible mark on our hearts. It's a place where time seems to stand still, yet every moment pulses with life and history, reminding us of the true beauty that lies in the stories we collect along the way. Before leaving Hoi An, we stop at Marble Mountain to say a prayer before embarking to our next destination, Sapa. Sapa, Vietnam, where lush rice terraces meet resilient hill tribes, creating a landscape as rich in culture as its natural beauty. We are bundled in Sapa. We're about to endure a five hour hike, a trek to Mama Sa's house. It's really cold, it's foggy, it's morning time. We're a little dead right now from not sleeping. Here we go. We're gonna make the best of it and maybe have some Vietnamese breakfast hopefully. As we amble along the bustling streets of Sapa, it's strikingly clear that this city stands apart from the others we've explored in Vietnam so far. Nestled just a short 30 minute drive from China, Sapa bears the unmistakable imprint of diverse cultural influences. This is our homestay host, Mama Sa, who will be letting us stay in her home for the next few days. Yeah, you see, Zai, tomorrow we see Zai, and now Mama and Mom. We are, Sapa, we have five different languages. Mom, Zai, Zai, Sapa, Pai. After Mama Sa gives us a brief history on her tribe and its history in Sapa, we embark on our six hour hike to her mountainside village deep in the rice paddy fields of the countryside. And now we're backtracking. <laughs> now we're really going down to the basin over here. But it's still not a terrible, terrible trek. Give it a two out of five stars. How hard it is. So not bad. Linked up with Mama Sa beforehand. We knew we wanted to go with her. We knew very good reputation, wholesome, the whole nine yards. But gotta be careful because some other mamas, they're all called mamas, will try to jump on your train and uh, come with you. I will find out what's gonna happen, but I think it's one of those uh, looking for a tip thing, which isn't the end of the world. They, they are helping us like carry some stuff, so they're gonna get a tip obviously. But I heard that uh, if you come off the bus stop and you don't have a stay planned, you can jump on with one of the, the mamas that wait at the bus stop to have someone join their homestay. So if you want to just raw dog the, the Sapa trip and just come on up, you might meet little tiny mamas, little four foot five ladies that are gonna take you into their home. So. Traveling isn't just about seeing new places. It's about understanding the world beyond our own bubble. It opens our mind to different cultures, tastes, and traditions. It challenges our perspective and reminds us that there's more to life than what we know. It's a humbling experience that teaches us empathy, connects us with people we'd never otherwise meet, and leaves us with stories that change how we see the world. So get out there, try new things, and let this world surprise you. Mama Sa was telling us that she learned how to speak English just from dealing with the tourists. She can't read it, she can't write it, but she can speak it very fluently. So that's one thing. If you want to book your stay with Mama Sa, it says it on her Facebook. You have to just give her a call um, on WhatsApp. She, that's what she prefers. So you could talk with her or you can message her, but she will send um, very simple messages back with lots of emojis. You know, waiting on a prayer because I said, trust me, trust me, trust me, she's gonna show up. 
This is like the thing you do up here in Saba. You do a homestead and you do this. They didn't believe me. They wanted to go to... There's there's no booking confirmation. Let's just say that. Yeah. If you get an emoji from Mama Sa, she'll be there. It's hard to sell your travel... Well, it's hard to sell your regular friends on this. Your traveler friends well, might go along with it. But when you're like, well, listen, I talked to this lady on WhatsApp. <laughs> I just messaged like her like four or five times. She said, show up here at this date two months ago. And here we are. And now we're trekking through these beautiful rice patties with all the mamas. So it's okay. You could trust people sometimes. You could trust the travelers. It wouldn't be a lead the resort trip if we don't stumble upon something absolutely absurd, like a Vietnamese carnival in the middle of nowhere. What's up? Five thousand more. Did it play? Let's slide them up. Okay. Let's slide them up. Okay. Be high. Be high. After a six hour trek, well worth it, but I'm ready to eat, ready to relax, take a shower, or at least put some water on me. Between the beautiful views, unbelievable hospitality, the only thing missing was a home cooked meal, and it looks like dinner is served. Show us what you're looking at. Show us what you're looking at. What is that? Symptoms of malaria. <laughs> Love me. <laughs> I had two bug braces on. Do you feel like you got this? Oh, I don't know now. I don't think you did. I you were literally covered head to toe in a cat suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me check out. <laughs> travel novel comes to an end the next one begins on to our next destination Do what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shut. <laughs> 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 